All right, in this video cheat sheet, we're going to be propagating a default route using BGP. We do a baseline show command on router 5 of show IP route 0, .0, .0, 0, .0, 0, 0 to see if there's a default route already floating around in our forwarding table. And we're going to do a debug IP BGP updates in on router 5 to get its perspective of how things change. Then we're going to do an advertise a then we're going to advertise the default route into BGP on router 6 and then we're going to do a verification show command on router 5 to make sure that the default route is now in our forwarding table. So let's look at the topology. Once again, we're going to propagate a default route using two different methods here on router 6. Now in a previous video cheat sheet, I showed you how to propagate a default route to a specific neighbor. We're going to be propagating a default route to everybody. It's a, a, a global, not a global thing because it's not a global uh, command, but we're going to be propagating a default route to everybody. So I'll be showing you how to do that here on router 6, and we'll be looking at router 5 to get its perspective. So I'm going to go over here to router 5 and do a show IP route for the default route, and I don't have that route. And I'm going to grab this real quick because I didn't have that in, in my little cheat sheet there. So now I've got debugging turned on for inbound updates on, on router 5. And there's two different ways that I'm going to show you how to do this. The first way is, is like you would originate any prefix into BGP. I'm going to use a network statement and a mask for my default route. Well, to get BGP to advertise a prefix, it has to have its it, that specific prefix already in in its forwarding table from some other from some other protocol whether it's a static route or some other IGP and the mask and the it has to match so I'm going to put in there the network statement for a default route and then I'm going to nail up the static default to null zero to trick BGP into advertising it so let's go over to router 6 and do that now let's go back over to router 5. I'm going to do my, my show IP route again. So once again, use the network statement and with a network and then a mask. And then you have to have the exact contributing route to get BGP to advertise it. So I'm using a static route to null zero to, to trick it into getting BGP to advertise my default route. As you can see from router 4, which is its route reflector, it received a default route with the next hop, the originator of router 6. So I'm going to do a show IP route and before we did not have anything in the table and now we do and ultimately from router 6 and it learned it from router 4. Now I'm going to remove these commands real quick so that we can then move on to the next example. So I'll pick you up after that. Okay, I have removed the, the network statement and the static nailed up route. And now if I go over to router 5, and I removed it off of router 6 so it's no longer propagating a default route. If I go over to router 5 and do a show IP route for the default, I'm now back to not in table. So now I'm going to go back to router 6 and, and I'm going to walk through this real slow. I'm going to do a router BGP. I'm going to go underneath the BGP configuration there on router 6. And the first thing I'm going to put in there is I'm going to put in a redistribute static and see if that will get our static route to advertise. So we've got redistribute static. I'm going to go back over to router 5 and it still doesn't have the route in its routing table. Well, I removed the static default earlier and so I'm going to put it back. I'm going to put router 6 the, the uh, default route back. So surely now I've got a redistribute static and now I've got a static default route so surely that's being advertised now. No, it's still not. To propagate a default route into BGP using redistribute static and using a, a, a default static route you also have to put in the command default information originate. So I just did that and now I come back over here to router 5 and voila, I now have the prefix from router 6 through router 4 for the default route. So I showed you two ways to propagate a default route into BGP via a network statement with a contributing route and then via the redistribute static with the default information originally.